exciting world of Zambian astronauts, whose leader in 1962 confidently predicted they'll be the first men on the moon. Mr. Enclosure, is this the site for your rocket launching program? Yeah. And, and could you tell me where your rocket is? Yes, this is the rocket launching site, and my rocket is just here. Ground control to Major Tom. And what is the name of your organization? Uh, the name of my organization is uh, National Academy of Science, Space Research and Ast Astronomical Research. Check ignition and may God's love be with you. When will you fire off your first rocket and where will you send it to? I will, I will fight from Lusaka and uh, it will go straight to the moon. To most Zambians, these people are just a bunch of crackpots, and from what I have seen today, I'm inclined to agree. 94, Zimbabwe. 14 years after independence, we are behind in the aviation race. Until now. We have joined the aviation developers. One man, a courageous man, Flight Lieutenant Sabanda, using his own limited resources, has built himself a helicopter. Who will help him? He needs finance. He hopes to start a helicopter factory. To quote an old cliche, for so long we have done so much with so little, it is now possible for us to do anything with nothing. This courageous man, Flight Lieutenant Sabanda, with his brilliant intelligence, has shown us the way, the way to the future in Zimbabwe aviation. Let's go and join him now. Daunted in his task to prove his ability. Who will hear his cry? A cry for help. A cry to finance his project. We're standing here today with Flight Lieutenant Sabanda, the man who made his dream come true by building himself a helicopter. Flight Lieutenant, I need to know some details about this helicopter for the international public. First of all, Flight Lieutenant, what is or what was the original aim in building the helicopter? Well, the basically, is I will, I'm trying to come up with uh, the fastest and the most cheapest means of transport, which is a helicopter. A, a, a technology is uh, presently the most suitable means of transport in the world. So you're saying that this type of transport would be able to be used by, this is more for the communal type, type fellow, uh, people out in the rural areas would be more affordable for them to build themselves this type of transport. Yeah, it is basically an it is basically commercial or industrial transport for the fire brigade, for the ambulance, the police. It is vi it is viable for in, in the in the uh, VIP the transportation of VIPs and uh, for executives, company executives, uh, you know, hires a taxi. It is also viable for in in, in the industry in the in the construction industry, construction of bridges, uh, dams, and uh, uh, laying out of pipes. Because it has got the ability to lift uh, heavy uh, metal, me metals. Sir? What speed have you actually got? Well, by, by, by that I mean, I'm saying it is calculated based on the, you know, the capacity of the engine. But I mean, uh, I calculated, it's, it's calculated, I haven't tested it at 250 kilometers an hour. That's what I mean. But, but you, you think you, you've, what speed do you think you've done? Well, I've just, you know, I've done about uh, 100, 100 or so kilometers an hour. Because it was being tested and some of these bolts, they would just go loose and so forth and so on. And by the time I do 10 kilometers, it would, you know, the, the, the thing would be vibrating and all those things. So I had to spend another three or four days repairing the, the, the effects of uh, flying. Then start again, uh, you know, like that. That's right. Now, Flight Lieutenant, um, you've explained how the um, helicopter works. Would it be possible for us to watch you start it up? If I can. A 
Okay, you got it. Keep rolling. Get the, get the thing in. Yo. La 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 la. We don't sail sailing ships, so. La 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 la. But we sing the gunship calypso. La 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 la. We don't sail sailing ships, so. La 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 la. But we sing the gunship calypso. La 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 la. We don't sail sailing ships, so. We are sailors of a kind. We see across the sky. Lieutenant Sabanda demonstrating his helicopter. Who will finance him? Who will help him? This is Phil Dager for Star Vision Televideo, Zimbabwe, Bolawayo. After two successive failures, Muranga-based flight enthusiast Gabriel Nderitu today made a third attempt at achieving that elusive dream to soar into the skies with the birds and other conventional aircraft in his homemade craft. The setting was here at the Kambirwa airstrip in Muranga County, where he brought not one but two aircrafts to make a stab at history and become the first East African to fly a locally assembled aircraft. One of the crafts accommodates a pilot, whereas the other is an unmanned drone. As the crowds gathered, the question on everyone's mind was, will these planes fly? Then came the moment, and Deritu revved up the engines, and the plane finally started forward, gathering speed in its wake. But flying, it didn't. Yet another failure. Deritu says the aircraft use the same engine, which he dismantles and put on the other one. The test today are uh, a lot more positive than we've had in this field in all the times that we've been here. Despite the failed attempt, Nerit is not giving up on his dream, noting that he has seen a tremendous improvement in his trials. The fact that you're spending over one million of uh, this project over time, eventually, I think the best thing is that uh, we will probably have to consult with the uh, institutional, uh, uh, institutional people. The self-styled Moranga Vieta is now appealing for funds and technical cooperation from well wishes to enable him achieve his dream of flying. For now, he is down but definitely not out. Alphonse Oladipo, K24 Weekend Report. Thank you. 